Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over something we've already gone over, uh, which is the Not a Camera Outline. Uh, we did this as part of the six-part series of the PCB in Reverse. I wanted to do, you know, I was looking at the, the latest version of the Footprint Editor, and it looks a little bit different than I had remembered, and it kind of looked like the polygon looked a little bit more editable. So let's take a look at what I mean here. So this is the polygon. That, if you don't remember, it looks like a security camera. And as I zoom in here, uh, we see the outline. And the outline is just a, it's just a polygon, right? And in order to be a polygon, it actually needs to have, at some point in this shape, I'm not actually sure where it is, and this is true for most of the things that I've been doing, uh, there's a crossover, right? So this is actually, basically, it's like, a, think about it like an inner tube. And at some point, the inner tube is is touching. So like, imagine, uh, let's see if I can, so imagine you have like a long balloon, right? And at some point you fold it over and you touch the balloon together. So it looks like a circle, like a thicker circle, right? But at, but at the end, the, the long balloon actually has two connection points. And that's not exactly what we want here. We actually do want just a completely enclosed DXF. And this is why when we take it to a, a 3D uh, image, that's why it's having issues with it. And so I started thinking about, well, what if we just converted it to a DXF? So we take the entire first. The first thing I did is actually off camera. I uh, I went and converted this thing. I basically just filled in the inside of it, right? So I filled in the ins entire inside of the image. I converted that to a footprint, and then I pulled that into the uh, pulled that in as an outline. That actually didn't work because it, it basically pulled the entire thing and it said, okay, now this is big one big thick image, and it's, it was still a polygon. What we really need to do here is we need to not use a polygon, but use a, uh, a set of a set of lines, which is what a DXF is. So in this case, we're going to actually go and we're going to try and modify this thing to have to just grab the outline of what we're doing, convert that to a DXF, and import a DXF. Now I realize that's not the most useful thing that we're doing. You know, it's not the easiest thing, but hopefully it's uh, it's going to be a better method for future boards. And that's what I'm really looking for here. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Uh, so this is like I said, this is what we're looking at here. This is that uh, inner tube, like I explained it. OK, and so what we need to do is so I started following this tutorial here, and I'll link this in the description below. But the first thing we need to go do is go into GIMP. We are going to be using all open source tools here. So this is GIMP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fill this thing in, actually. So I'm going to fill this in with black. That's not quite black. Uh, let's see. I want to first, actually, first thing I want to do is actually go to levels. This is actually kind of like a gray outline. I'm not sure why I did that. So like if you actually, the, the files that are in those the uh, this, the files that I sent, well, it was like a gray outline here, and some of it's because it was converted from you know a, a SVG image to a BMP, and so you have this kind of dithering like this. And so the first thing we want to do is we're going to make these really hard edges. So let's do that first. We go into colors, we're going to levels, and what we'll do is we'll start playing around with the levels to make make this blacker. Um, and I think that helps. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's lighter. That's too too dark. And this is kind of similar to the function that we have for uh, the, this is uh, similar to the function that we have on the bitmap to image converter in KiCad, right? Okay, so that looks okay-ish. Now I'm gonna try and fill this in, see how that looks. Hopefully there's not too many uh, issues here. Let's try and fill with black, that's not black. Let's change the color here. How's that look? Uh, it looks okay, let's see if we can get a couple of these stragglers. We really just want, we want the outline, like I said. Um, oops, zoom out. I'm used to, I've been working more in uh, Inkscape lately, so it's a little bit odd. But we really, what we really need is just the outline. So that's that's all we're really gonna do. Okay, so let's go and save this as a new file, or export it as a new file, rather. So let's export this as uh, outline fill, we'll call that. Okay. And then we have to export as PNG. And if this is larger, you're gonna have less of an issue because it's gonna, um, you know, have more resolution, more more dots in the in this, you know, jagged line, effectively. Uh, okay, so now let's go and I had open up the previous one in Inkscape, but now I'm gonna go and uh, open the filled one. Let's see how this looks. Okay, did that work? Oh, it's over here. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Inkscape always puts these up in the corner for me. Okay. And now we're going to do something that I've never done before, but there is a function in here. This is what I've learned from this document here. So there is a, uh, a way to do tracing the outline here. And I'm going to go into up to here, uh, layer, uh, no, 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 trace bitmap. Okay. And I believe they said to change it to 0. 0.850. I don't know. Oh, live preview. Is that possible? 
Uh, colors 8, 6, 5, live preview. I'm not seeing anything here. That's kind of, do I have the right stuff here? Smooth, stack scans. Now let's just see what happens. Okay. So nothing working here. <laughs> uh, let's try playing with the, I'm not seeing any update here, so I'm not sure why this isn't working. I don't want uh, color. Oh, I know why. I don't think I have it selected. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. So, live preview on. Well, let's just try the values that we said there 0.850. And hit OK. Let's see if that worked. Aha! It looks like it did. Yeah, so here's the bitmap. And now we have corners here. And this is ultimately what we're looking for. OK, so now let's see if we can export. Uh, let's see, that's OK. So now we've got this thing. We, oh, so this is the other thing. So now we, we have it set as a, uh, it looks like it's, it's filled in, but what we could do is we just say turn off the fill, turn on the stroke here. There we go. So now this is effectively what we wanted. So it did go and trace this thing now, and that's great. Uh, let's now delete this guy. Can I delete this guy? Delete that. Okay. Now let's see if we can save as a DXF. And now this is where it gets a little tricky in my opinion because uh, I've had issues with the DXF imports before. Let's hit save. Okay, let's hope for the best there. Hope it doesn't crash. <laughs> okay, and now let's go into PCB new and see if this shows up. Now this is going to be not necessarily um, I'm not sure about the scale on this thing, but we're going to say import. This has changed in KiCad 5.1 as well. It used to just say DXF import, but now it says graphics. Let's browse here. So PCBs. I was in this folder. And there we go. Let's see how we do. Oh, ho, wow. All right. So I'm off a little bit on the scale here. But it looks like that worked. Uh, let me try and change the grid a little bit. OK. Oh, whoops. Um, let me undo that. Well, I've changed the grid, so I can try and just import it again. So now these are these are not grouped together anymore. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Is that right? About there. That looks good. No, that did not look good. Let me just double check too. I don't know if I have. Let me turn off everything but the edge cuts layer. I thought I still had the uh, edge cuts turned in here. So hide all but active. Uh, hide all layers. Edge cuts. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. This is the this is the polygon that I imported. So this is that same thing you see there. Now let's turn everything back on. Okay. Now we do that import one more time. I'm gonna make it a slightly finer grid. I, again, like I'm not. I don't have the uh, the zero, the center point of the of that anymore. So it is a little bit more of an eyeball thing. What do you think? That? Maybe? I'm not sure who's most in charge here. All right, let's try that. Cool. And now the real test would be when we take it to the, uh, when we go to the 3D model, hit save here, Alt 3 of the 3D model. Hey, hey, all right. So we have officially fixed that issue. 
so now it's basically it says okay I now know where the edge is and uh, and because it's not a polygon now it actually is a DXF so the official method not the official method but the uh, <coughs> the method that worked for me here is basically you go and uh, you change your image to a completely full you know basically you, you create a black and white image similar to how we actually created the uh, footprint then you go and use the trace function in Inkscape that creates a DXF you import the DXF and then that comes in as the set of line files and hopefully that's a slightly easier way of doing things uh, that was actually the first time I had done it so live on camera there uh, hopefully that wasn't too too long or too messy but I'm excited because this is actually something that's all of my graphical uh, PCBs in the past have had the same I issue and uh, being able to, to not have to go and trace everything uh, that makes things a lot easier so uh, excited to explore more with you here in KiCad 5.0 uh, I'm not even sure if this is KiCad 5.0 this might just be Chris being a little bit uh, obstinate about <laughs> about how he he did things uh, I did things uh, usually you know like using that same graphic import method uh, worked well and like I said I mean usually the fab houses are able to figure it out when you when I did a uh, graphical import of that that balloon shape like I explained but uh, this is a little bit better now so if you have any other questions, you can always go to the forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. If you have any questions about the features themselves, you can always go to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. That's all for now. We'll have more videos about KiCad coming up here on Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.